now we are at Monkey Temple, stood right in, outside the Red Handed Tamarind Avery, and we've got some interesting facts to share with you. They are omnivores, which means they will eat pretty much anything, and they really like sweet bugs, um, but one of their main part of their diet is actually tree sap. And so we got something called Marmoset Gum, which is an artificial tree sap that we give them three times a week and they absolutely love it. Um, so you may notice when you look at them, they have bright orange hands. Now not a lot of animals have that, and um, so it's mainly for camouflage. So when they're running around in the forest, if they were one block colour, their predators, which they have plenty of, and we'll be able to see them running through the forest. So they have orange specks on their back and bright orange hands so that when they move around in the forest, it kind of looks like leaves um, up in the trees. And so there are marmosets and tamarinds, um, and there's lots of different species. They're all found in South America. Uh, so at the moment, we only have two red-handed tamarinds, um, and they coexist quite nicely together. Um, but normally, you will find them in big family groups, so around maybe eight to 12 individuals in one family. Uh, so Mrs. Potts, um, she's nine years old, and Gaston is 12 years old. So in the wild, they will normally live to around 10 to 12 years old. Um, but in captivity, they can live to like 16 to 18 years old, so a little bit longer, because of course, we have no predators here, plenty of food, and lots of veterinary care for them as well. Uh, when you come and visit us during the summer, make sure you pop down to Monkey Temple and come and see our red-handed tamarinds. Now they are quite elusive, so you might have to look a little bit carefully, but once you see them, they are quite cute.